All right, let's go ahead and start our activity for Maddie's hats. We are making hats. And the way you can start is either have mom or dad or whoever you're with today, or even you go ahead and draw the shape for a hat. Now it doesn't have to be a normal hat shape. It can be any kind of a shape because remember Maddie's hats were not your typical hats. So you could make a triangle shape hat. For instance, if I decided I wanted to do more of a triangle shape hat, I could draw something as easy as this, a triangle with maybe even a little band for um, the hat. And then you can decorate it any way you want. All right, I went ahead and did one for an example. So let me show it to you. This is a hat that I did. I just kind of drew it like a, kind of like a cowboy hat a little bit. And then what I did was went to my scrap bin and I pulled out pieces of paper. And instead of cutting, I want you to go ahead and rip the paper because this is really good for your little fingers and the muscles in your little fingers. It helps make them stronger. So go ahead and find some scrap pieces, some colors that you like, and then rip them into square shapes, okay? Now, if you wanna challenge yourself, you can rip them into circles. So you would just take a piece of scrap paper and then just kind of try and rip it in a circle. Now, something really important to remember when you're ripping, it's not gonna look perfect like when you cut because when you cut, that gives you a nice straight edge. But when you rip, it's gonna look kind of like the shape you want, but it won't look exactly like the shape you want but you're really giving your fingers a good little workout. All right, so here is an example of a circle if I were to rip it into a circle. And you can see it doesn't look exactly like a round circle, but it kind of does. And that's all you need to do. So on your hat, you can see I chose to do all squares, except I do have a little bit of a triangle shape down here. And I decided to make my whole bottom blue and then for the band, I did like a pattern. What colors did I use for my pattern? Right, purple and yellow. So it goes purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple, yellow. And then up here, I decided to do reds. Now, I left this part blank so I can show you what to do. So I did mostly squares and I just took my little piece of paper and I ripped it into square. Then I took my glue stick, which I heard roll on the floor earlier, and I put some glue on my hat. And then I put my square right down in that spot. And then I just keep going. Now I can leave the cap off of my glue stick because I'm using it quite a bit. So then I just rip another square. Put some glue down on my paper and fill in that white spot. Now again, you can make your hat any way you want. The main thing I want you to do is rip pieces of paper. So if you rip rectangles or you rip circles or you rip squares, it doesn't matter. I just want you to practice ripping the paper into pieces, okay? And I didn't have to do just red up here, just blue down here. I could have done all kinds of colors all over the place. Once you get your paper on, then think of one more way that you can make your hat extra special. Maybe you wanna go get some markers and you wanna color on your hat, or maybe you wanna go get some little jewels and glue them onto your hat. I found some ribbon which is a really pretty ribbon. If you can see, it's kind of like a sparkly red. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut two pieces because while I'm doing this, I was thinking of the hat in our story today, the black beret, that he had something hanging off of his hat. Do you remember what it was? Right, it was the planet Saturn and that was hanging off of him. So I thought how fun it would be to make something hanging off of my hat. So I'm gonna go ahead and just in the corner of my hat, let's see if I can get it here so you can see it, the 
corner of my hat, I'm gonna glue it down. I'll take off the cap on my glue stick. I'm gonna glue down those fun little pieces of ribbon. And if you decide that you need to use liquid glue instead, go ahead, you can do that too. All right, so here's my hat with some fun little red ribbons hanging off of it. Now, I can hang this on my fridge. I can take a marker and write the word hat, which do you remember how to spell hat? What sound is that? H, if you said H, you're right. And then I can write the word H, and then F, 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 what comes next? F, F, A, good. And T, 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 T. So there's the word hat. Now hat rhymes with K, at, cat, and mat. So think of some rhyming words after you write the word hat. After that, if you decide you don't want to hang it on the fringe, but maybe you want to wear it instead, you can cut two strips of paper. And again, you can use any color you want to. I just use white because this was left over when I made my hat. And you can go ahead and staple your little piece to your hat. And then take another piece and staple that on the other side of your hat so it looks kind of like this, because you're gonna make a band that it'll wrap around your head and you'll be able to wear it. All right.